This is a story from the great Paul Harvey about how the desire for freedom is perhaps the most powerful single impulse of the human heart. And for those who remember the great Paul Harvey used to do a show called The Rest of the Story that would be broadcast before America in the morning on a radio show all across. I remember listening to it going to going to school in the morning every day cuz it'd be like it would be on like for the 15 minutes or so that I'd be driving to school with my with my mom. And here's one of the stories from January 1st, 1980 where Mr. Harvey's own words from this article. Chimpanzee voices plea. I've just endured one of the most cold sweat experiences of my life. I heard the voice of an animal. When I realized my experience of having heard an animal talk, I'm not referring to the minis- to the mim cry of a parrot. Here's what happened. My son Paul researching a rest of the story our story broadcast became acquainted with a research project at the University of Oklahoma. There they had been teaching an animal to talk, specifically a 15-year-old chimpanzee named Washo. This is basically this is the basic recognition communication, mostly single unit, big, small, up, down. Since 1966, this chim- chimpanzee had learned 140 signs in standard American sign language. After all this learning, more after all this learning and more and more learning, the project directors decided Washo was prepared now to conceptualize. In lay language, instead of initiating some human words, the chimp was ready to express thoughts of her own. She had learned enough words to cross-reference those words and originate expressions of her own. Now understand, Washo is pampered. She's an animal in the university laboratory, well-fed, physically comfortable, safe from harm. She has security. And yet, when she was able to put words together and her own words into a phrase, into a phrase these were the first three words. And she has said them repeatedly over and over again to visitors. The voice from the cage is saying, quote, let me out, let me out. You know, Washo's cry for freedom, a chimpanzee trapped in a cage is nothing, nothing is, is nothing more than a, just a description of that, that human impulse. One of the, the most powerful human in, impulses of freedom and the passion to be free, no matter how well fed you are, someone is, or how well pampered someone is, even a monkey, a, a chimpanzee like Washo, the first three words is that cry for freedom. Let me out. So if you want to know more about freedom, be sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. This is Gavin Mail, and I'll see you at the top.